Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 and our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play continues today. This is our first episode. I'm actually streaming over on Twitch. So Twitch chat, you guys are actually going to be in charge of today's episode. Before I let Twitch chat ruin all of our vehicles and paint everything in our garage bright pink, I wanted to start up today's episode with our final expedition all the way over here, the Guanajuato Expedition. This unlocks the street scene outpost. I do have seven wheel spins. I don't even know when I... All right, I don't even know when I got these, but I will gladly... That's two for two. Two for two. That's not a bad car. I'll take that one. Okay, how many... As it turns out, three good wheel spins in a row is the limit. Anyways, though, DeLorean, let's drive three miles all the way over to the Guanajuato Expedition. Nice ride. I have to look good for my old compadres. And I thought, what looks better than beating a Horizon superstar into your hometown? First to the Basilica wins. All right, the mysterious El... Jeffy? I would sincerely like to apologize for my poor pronunciation of all of the places and names in this game, okay? Back then I was just a little kid learning to drive with my mommy and my tios. I couldn't even reach the pedals. We've got the street but, scene you know, checkpoint. They do say that the most feared street racer in all of Mexico comes from Guanajuato. Ah, do they really? Well, see, they say he's never lost a race. Who knows if he'll make an appearance at Horizon? They call him El Jefe, El Perron, El Guapo, El Valiente. El Chapo? My guy, you're literally stuck on my rear bumper. What are you talking about? That pink sky is so sick. And there is Guanajuato in front of us. Welcome to Guanajuato, home of La Familia Miron. Best city in Mexico. The name means Hill of Frogs. <laughs> That's... Not very street racing. That's okay. The tunnels were built to keep the city from flooding, but they are perfect for El Jefe and the local street racers. Who put the wall there? As we learned with our previous expeditions, we really want to focus on all of those side objectives. We want to get maximum amount of accolades, maximum amount of rewards. So make sure to do all of the side objectives. There we go. There's one. On the oh no. Stretch. The Basilica is just around the corner. No, no, we no. Granny, I'm sorry. Now get across the finish line. There we go. Finish line, Toyota Supra. Let's go. And that's how you get all of the secondary objectives. It's me. Wait. Wait, that is me. Racers come here to ask our lady for her blessing. You know, I might be able to contact the cafe. I hear he's pretty strict, but if he thinks you're good enough to join the street scene, then who knows? Dude, I know it's you. <laughs> that way, no pues. Then you're in. Come on, let's go meet my compadres. I love these little expeditions. Drive out of Guanajuato now, okay? Where are we going now? Out of the city to our racers meetup. Does your family know about El Jefe? Are you kidding? My father would be furious, and my uncle Carlos would challenge me to a race before every family meal. Well, you can't keep street scene a secret anymore. Uh, uh, guy, 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 guys, guys. What are we doing? I'm in a slammed wide body we Supra. Wait, what? Compadres, when we started this meetup, we were just a few kids racing around in old quachos. Since then, the racers, the engines, the party have all <laughs> grown a little bit. I know where this outpost is. This is the one Sorry that's at the parking lot, isn't it? it? It is! Well, Take I a look! Yo! That is so sick! Holy! Thanks for showing me your hometown, Remy. My problema, my friend. Welcome to Horizon Street Scene. That, that, that's the coolest outpost we have ever had before. Take a look at all of the accolades and the achievements rolling in. We only need 900 more accolades for our next chapter. We also get a GTR unlocked and a whole bunch of XP, enough to level up. Let's go for a good wheel spin Welcome too. Welcome to Horizon Street Scene. Fully approved and ready to go. Take a look. That is so sick. That's so cool. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at all of the purple events. Anyways, though, welcome to our brand new festival. That's it. This is our final festival. Without a doubt, that is the coolest festival we have ever had in a Forza game. 
Anyways, after that, though, I have... Yes, I have one more wheel spin to do. Hopefully... Oh, we nearly got that Viper. Take a look at this, though. If I check out my accolades and I go to here, my expeditions, I have two cars that I haven't unlocked yet or I haven't yet received. So we get the Peugeot Super 2000. Thank you. And we also get the Skyline. Let's go. Now, if I go to my car collection screen... We can see all of the cars that I've got today. We got seven cars already. Twitch chat, I'm gonna let you guys choose what we have to do. So if I open up this screen, my Horizon Adventure, we have one coupon that we can redeem. We can come over to Street Scene, for example, and unlock the Born Fast Society. Those are some really cool missions. I could unlock the marathon event. A lot of Twitch chat wants me to do the Baja. Okay, I like that idea. And if we're gonna do that idea, I think we're gonna unlock this, the Titan. That's gonna be the Baja final race. So we will spend our point on that. That unlocks the Titan for us. Did I just unlock another? I just unlocked another one. All right, Twitch chat, pick another one. Pick another one. <laughs> Twitch chat really wants the V10 become a stunt driver for a movie. All right, so there you go. The Baja, we have unlocked everything. I don't know why Twitch chat wants the Baja so badly, but that's gonna be cool. If you guys wanna do Baja races, then I think we need to choose, or I should say build, a very, very good Baja vehicle. And I think I've got a pretty good one. This is the BMW X5 M Forza Edition. And this is probably gonna be your best friend if you like driving very, very quick. Yes, it's probably more more focused to driving on the road, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this thing into an epic off-roader. You can already see it's got those Michelin super, super grippy tires. Here's what's really cool about this thing. If I go to the conversion, I should be, yes, I'm all-wheel drive already. I can toss on some twin turbos that add on 400 horsepower. I guess we're gonna toss on the rally tires, Forza Edition tires. I don't know if those are gonna have more grip. We've already got an upgraded six-speed transmission, so I'm not gonna actually modify that. Our differential, let me get an off-road differential for the BMW X5, okay? And yes, we can toss on some rally suspension because, uh, yeah, driving it like that probably wouldn't have gone very well. After that, we can upgrade our horsepower. That adds 100. Upgrade our twin turbos. That adds 300. And upgrade our intercooler. A 1,900 horsepower. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be a very quick BMW X5 M now. I'm just saying, if I lose a race, I'm gonna call shenanigans on the AI. Before we give that race a go, I think we definitely need to give this vehicle a little bit of a test on some more regular cross-country circuits. So, let's come over here. This one goes through the state. Whoa, it's raining. There we go. How good is our BMW X5 M? I love the blacked out license plate. Whoa, gear ratios. First to third gear are basically useless. But once we actually get this thing off road, I think it'll be okay. Why are we racing against Ferrari 599s and Paganis off road? That's why we always do a little bit of a practice race before we do anything too insane. Look at all of the obstacles. Jeez, people everywhere. Uh oh. <laughs> Absolute chaos out here in Mexico today. Lap number one already done. What a beautiful race to try this out with. This vehicle actually makes the game looks like look like it's sped up. It's ridiculous. Does anybody even know what engine this thing has in it? Whoa, whoa. Uh, God. Okay, could we not? not try to sabotage me quite like that. That would be great. This is like a twin turbo V12 something or rather that's in this vehicle. This race has gone from bad to worse. I'm just, I'm bleeding positions in my BMW X5M. I learned a couple of things about my BMW. Number one, uh, corners are not its friend. Number two, I definitely need some better gear ratio. BMW X5M hopefully will have a better race this time with some new gears. We're on a better race circuit for ourselves. We're, we're still spinning up our wheels the entire time. Driving a near 2,000 horsepower vehicle off-road is probably not one of my best ideas, but it is pretty crazy. So, I mean, 
You win some, you lose some. Oh my god, I'm about to wear... I'm about to be in ha a hat for one of the AI if I land on one of them. By the way, there's also a very cool house there that I definitely need to go and purchase. So maybe we'll do that after this race as well. We've got to find a balance between memes and actually winning and doing what we're supposed to. Wait, what? This is a point-to-point -point race. We're already nearly at the end. No, no, I wasn't. Oh my God. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, guys, guys, I I can't hit checkpoints when I'm hundreds of feet in the air. This is not okay. As it turns out, driving a 2,000 horsepower BMW X5 off-road, not, not my best idea. Definitely not. Before we do anything else, I think I need to buy this. The Buena Vista's house. It does cost 2 million credits, but it's gonna let us fast travel to anywhere on the map. So that is gonna be super, super useful. And I mean, considering we're in the BMW X5 M, it won't take us very long to get down there. Here is my brand new house. It is for sale. Beach views, lots of rooms, lindo. And don't worry, the garage is big too, I checked. Thank you very much, Rami. We drop two million bucks, we can fast travel anywhere, and we get two super wheel spins. So yes, is. let's buy that. Wait, is Rami like the real estate agent, the local racer, the guy who's hand building all of the festivals? Who knew Rami had so many skills? Now that we're in our house, take a look at this. I have two barn finds that have been completed. It was a Jimmy. He said, you mean a blazer? I think he might the Oscar would get along. Let's go. The GMC Jimmy is now in the garage. Let's go. And this. V12, 450 horsepower. It should have been on the track at Le Mans, not in the middle of the Mexican jungle. That is so sick. Thank you very much, Rami. We've got more barn finds unlocked. So we've got five of them now out of the uh, many that we still have yet to go. Anyways though, now that we've dropped two million bucks on this house, we can fast travel anywhere. So I wanna fast travel all the way to this dried up riverbed. If I turn right and come down here, let's go. And there should be a board somewhere in there. Yes, there it is. And I can take this lovely little jump up and let's go, let's go, let's go and... Got him. Let's go BMW X5. Anyways, I guess I should use those two super wheel spins that we got for purchasing the house. So we'll get 100,000 credits, two really, really good cars. And our second one, not, not, not so good. But maybe what I should do instead is this, the Vocho story. We have two that we can choose from. This is the Vocho can fly mission. Apparently we're gonna land a Volkswagen Beetle on somebody's roof. Hey there, ready to do a jump? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Judging by the clawing I found on the under tray, it's not the first time this Vocho has jumped off something. So I guess we're just doing a simple oh, danger wait. sign with this. Oh, there is our danger sign. Come on, zoom, zoom, zoom. Are we jumping in? Yes, we're jumping into the off-road course. So we need something like 500 feet. I think that should be good enough for three stars. Fantastic. Come on. Wow. You okay? Yeah, actually. I kind of want to go again. I thought we were going to land on somebody's again. house. He definitely got into some trouble in his day. And the watcher wasn't innocente either. Let's go. Three stars on the jump. Thank you very much. Handling on corners, we could go here. Or for straight line speed, here. I think the option is clear. Straight line speed, 190 miles an hour. Take a look at this. I only need 250 more accolades for us to unlock another chapter of the Horizon story. Jeez. I love it. Drag racing beetle built for top speed. I need to do 190. Okay, I thought we were going to be ripping it down the highway. Apparently, we are not. This is seriously one of my favorite vehicles in Forza Horizon 5. That engine is just ridiculous. That rear wing is completely over the top. And look at the exhaust and the wheelie bars. It's so sick. We'll take that one, though. You Nearly 200 yeah, through the brakes. speed trap. This thing is fast. It's really special, right? Just wait till you see what Papa Fernando did with it next. How are you going to get crazier than that? I have no idea. We get three stars from that. 
And that should unlock our next chapter. We've already completed all of the Baja stuff. We can complete the Rush stuff or the Mexico stuff. I think if we go Street Scene and Born Fast, that's gonna be head-to-head -head pink slip battles. So yeah, let's go for that. We won't do it in this episode, but we'll save that for the future. Original condition, just like when it rolled out of La Fabrica in the 60s. You like it? That's a classic look. What about the upgrades though? <laughs> Don't worry, all the upgrades are safe. We can put them back on anytime. Take a photo of the Vocho in the desert. And I do only have a minute and 48 seconds to get there. So we're gonna have to cut the corner, cut off road. C could we toss the old upgrades on though? Because this version is um a little bit slow. This was the first beetle in my family, but it wasn't the last. I owned one, Ramiro owned one. Maybe <laughs> this sounds stupid, but maybe we carry the spirit of our Papa Fernando with us, you know? Or maybe it's just a Mexican thing. Cut the corner, off the highway. We are heading off-road in what feels like a stock beetle. Oh, no. Where is my off-road suspension, off-road tires? I mean, I hope you weren't expecting a very good picture because not only is this thing going to be dirty and nasty, it also might be missing a wheel by the end of this. I have 10 seconds. No, 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 you stupid beetle. What are we doing? Where's my off-road suspension? I've got the perfect photo for you. Stupid challenge. It might not be three stars, but at least that's one of the best photos of a Volkswagen Beetle ever. I want to say muchísimas gracias for everything. We always put Papa Fernando's picture on the ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos. This year, I'll have a lot to say to him. Tell him the bocho is in safe hands. Um... I can do whatever I want with it. So, I'm giving it to you. Wait, what? Ale, no. <laughs> just promise you'll always bring it back to my garage. Wait, did she just give me a Volkswagen Beetle? I mean, I only got two stars there. After I complete the Desert Queen accolade, I get the Volkswagen Beetle. Let's go. We're about halfway there to our Volkswagen Beetle Forza edition. That is gonna be crazy cool. <laughs>